what is going on guys and welcome back to another video so in the last one we were talking about the game informer cover for april which a lot of people including myself had hopes to see a batman cover now unfortunately of course that is not the case and now everyone who was super hyped for this has pretty much entered the I give up stage and just a quick little recap more people are super annoyed purely off the fact that it's for Mortal Kombat and of course Game Informer's essentially month coverage technically can't even be done on this game because it comes out before the end of the month. So that's got a lot of people rattled as to why on earth they gave this the cover, but hey, I guess it is what it is. Now, I have even seen people say that this game has probably been cancelled as Warner Brothers Montreal have done so to other games in the past. Now, of course, that is some crazy stuff. I mean, you technically cannot say something has been cancelled if it was never announced, right? Plus, of course, Andrew Reiner said that he has no idea when WB Montreal will be releasing their next game, as again, I mentioned in the last video. So, as far as all this Game Informer stuff goes, it actually turns out they really have absolutely no idea what WB Montreal are up to or when on earth they're going to announce their next thing. So, let's get down to the facts, okay? It's been four years since the DC game has been announced, of course that last one being Batman Arkham. Now this year, of course, could be the fifth year running. Now, why was everyone waiting for the game in form of reveal? Simply because it happened last time. But since then, bear in mind, we've got new devs, alright? We got WB Montreal, not Rocksteady. If it does not get announced at E3 for a possible 2019 release or even early 2020, then I guess we could say you gotta give up pretty much. I mean, it's more than likely it's not happening anytime soon. But what is super key to take note of is next-gen consoles because personally, I think this has a major effect. Now, rumors say that this could possibly be announced in 2020 and again, more than likely at E3. Now, that would make, of course, that an extra year wait and would that make sense? Probably so and that point alone will probably cause a ton of delays on other games because you gotta think about it. If you're going to release a game, and I mean, it depends how far they are in development in all honesty, but if they're going to go ahead and of course go ahead and reveal it on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, or for all we know even a goddamn exclusive, right? You're going to think a lot of people are then going to drift over to that console and then they need to go ahead and make another port and because of next gen consoles, there's just going to be a whole new another level as far as graphics goes and things they can actually do. So that is definitely something to take into some condition. Consideration. Now, to sprinkle some more facts, the only reason this whole speculation has sprung is because of the multiple teasers and of course of the Call of Owl logo teasers directly from a few developers themselves that we then received. Now, if we did not get any of this, personally speaking, I don't even think anyone would be looking out for a Batman game or a Game Informer cover, etc. For all we know, WB Montreal may well be looking at a new DC game to of course go ahead and create which would be definitely very interesting and fresh to bring to the table of course but as it stands the Batman game is what it's all about so if you were disappointed by the Game Informer reveal Take it easy and hang tight for E3. If still nothing after E3, for sure we could probably say it would definitely not be announced this year at all. But I want you guys to get in the comment section below and share your thoughts on this. Like I said, we've got these teasers which is really what kind of gives that hope that a Batman game is in the making. But for all we know, it could have been something very simple and it definitely wasn't meant to be intentionally a teaser. But I'll let you guys decide that but hang tight until E3 because that is the world's biggest game and event So like that sink in but guys it's gonna wrap up the video here as always subscribe for more awesome content If you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one until then have yourselves a ridiculously amazing day and adios amigos